Fisherman, how's it going? Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Um, long time no see. I think last time I made a video was the Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Um, start New Year, what a bloody start to year. Is it not gone great? Not really, no. Um, <laughs> uh, little review. Um, obviously this is something I probably got for Christmas. Uh, I didn't want to do it straight away and just pound those videos out with reviews like I did last time I did that. Uh, I, I wanted to use stuff first and I wanted to see how they're going. Like I use the Fox Horizon X, I think it's Fox Horizon X3s. I'm really into Fox gear at the moment. I've got, I, I, I got my rod stolen didn't I? And um, I, I got some new X3s, um, the Horizons. And then I got the EOS 10,000s for Christmas. My partner brought one and my mum brought one. And then I, I matched that up with the Fox soft steel. And I took them out the other day with Aaron, and oh my god, I, the, the the reels much better than Witchwood big, big Pits I was using. Um, the line comes off so smoothly um, with the lines and stuff like that. Um, sorry, I'll try to get through the door. Um, yeah, so what I was talking about, yeah, the rods are beautiful basically. So I started getting into Fox, so I'm 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 going you know, in overboard, and I'm sort of like. Oh, that, by the way, if you see that, that is from a drip. I had I had a severe panic attack, and um, yeah, it didn't go well. Basically, I got taken to the hospital. But I'm all right. I'm good. Um, but yeah, bruises, and couldn't get blood out of me. Uh, anyway, going longer, let's get to the review, or should I say tackle showcase. So I want to talk about today the Camelite brew kit. So I've got given this as a gift. Um, I don't really do night sessions. I don't. Re However, though, in the winter, it would be nice to make your own brews on the bank and stuff like that. I don't do that. Just for you guys who know that, I don't make brews. Uh, to be honest, I don't even take food. Uh, and I, I, I really want to do this year is make my sessions really comfortable. And one of the things I asked for was like a brew kit or a stove or something like that. So I was I was bought the Camelite Fox Camelite brew kit, and it comes in this beautiful waterproof. Uh, I don't know, it feels like seatbelt material, it's waterproof, it's got some nice sturdy handles on it, um, it's rigid as well, handles on either side for ease of taking off the barra and putting it on the barra, yeah, and it's got a really nice thick sort of zip as well, real nice, it's got the Fox logo on it, so let's open it up, so we're going to open it up, double zip as well, you open it up and it's got this lovely logoed inside line sheet there, all these Velcro segments you can take out and move if you wanted to move from one to the side, have a gas bottle in here or a stove, works really well. I've not done nothing with this yet. Um, you've got some nice slots here, you could probably put some tea bags, you could probably put some like, cutlery, spoons, that sort of thing up there. Just another, another little thing there. Maybe you can put some tablets if you've got like if you take Gavscon or some paracetamol, you can have it all in one bag for you. Have another set of glasses and then have all your stuff together. And then you've got these, these three Velcro panels, you can take out, move, and you can make them to what you want. They come with it. Each box, each Camelite brew kit comes with two of these really nice ceramic Fox mugs. Really, really nice. Really nice, they've got the logo on it. Beautiful sort of like khaki green colour. Nice size mug as well, so you can have a proper brew in it. And that comes with two of those, which is really, and I, I found that's really nice as well because Normally with like camping stoves, stuff like that, you normally get like a tin cup and to have like a real nice ceramic cup, it sort of brings you sort of home a bit more and it makes you feel a bit more homely. Furthermore, in the box as well, you do get a teaspoon, which is quite nice. Um, just, it's just a nice feature because you might want to keep it all together and have a designated um, teaspoon for your things. Mrs. might not like taking the cutlery as well, which is nice. It also comes with four pots. I'm going to get two of them out, but they're the same size. So you come with four of these pots. They're almost like boiler pots. Um, come on, focus on me. There you go. Um, they've all got the logo on the Fox logo, as you can see that there. And they're screw lids. These are perfect. And I think these are designed to put like your sugar, coffee, that sort of thing, tea bags, Horlicks, if you like Horlicks. I know a lot of you like Horlicks. Um, yeah. So that's really nice and sealed watertight, so you, you don't get your, your sugar getting all like that hard, crystallised, that sort of thing. You'd have to put it in a little plastic bag. It's definitely not going to get wet, and it's all kept together, which is nice. Also, in the baggie as well, it comes with 
this really nice um, same material as the bag it's like a waterproof it's really tough I don't know what you'd call it it's a waterproof it's not like I don't, it's not neoprene but it's like a tough fabric and it's almost it feels like seat belt um, and it comes with a draw strap there as well and what this is in this bag is that is a thermal lined sort of like cover um, and it's for it's for the fox bottle what comes with it and a lot of people have asked me like this has got to be for the water right but you're not going to get much water in there are you I, I think that would be better to keep your milk cold and um, because you've got the thermal thing on there you put your milk in there seal it all up and then it's a nice amount of tin it's not going to split it's not going to get weathered and because it's got the, this lovely little thermal pouch with it it's going to stay nice and cold which is good so that comes with it as well, a nice draw strap. And that's that's all what you get. Obviously you get two mugs, you get four tubs, and then these pouches can move. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do, I use a I don't know if you know they're called Tranger stoves a lot of the time for short sessions. They're a little Mephilet spirit stove, you pour it in and it lights and it has a windbreak and stuff like that. And and for just boiling a kettle, it's it's beautiful. I, uh, in my video of uh, going for catfish, I used it and I cooked a full dinner on it. I cooked breakfast on it and I cooked, I um, boiled a tea in it and everything and it was mental, it worked fine. Uh, really lightweight, perfect if you're on a light session, you just want to make a quick brew, that sort of thing. Um, if I was going to go for a, a stove, I probably would just do one of them single screw stoves and then a separate bottle and I'll probably have that in here as well. Have all my cooking stuff together, all my brew stuff together and that's what I'm going to use it for. And like I said, we'll just re look, we go on the bag itself. It's not a bad size. It's about the size of a small sort of luggage bag. You've got a real nice logo at the back there. And like I said, this has got pretty much nothing in now. It's nice and rigid. It's not going to collapse on you. It's not going to crush all your stuff. But yeah, that's what I like. That is the, um, like I said, the uh, Fox Camelite brew kit. I think it's a really nice little piece of kit. Um, a lot of people say, what's the point to buy your own stuff? But I think if you're a tackle tart like me, you like everything matching, it is what it is. I think it retailed about 50 quid, 60 quid. Um, but I'm going to use that for all my all my cooking stuff, like my little things, like my brews and stuff like that. Because I don't take a lot of food. Oh, well, like I said, I don't take no food. But I would like to start taking coffee, especially in the winter. And I, I mean, pot noodles and stuff like that, super noodles, that's what you could easily do that for a day session. Uh, but yeah, real nice, little pots. And if you don't want to use all the pots, I suppose you could use these so you can boil these in, but I mean, keep it, just keep it for it's for, put a bit of hot chocolate in them, a bit of sugar, um, even powdered milk, if you're going for a real, real long session, uh, that sort of thing. And then the mugs, I might keep, I don't fish with other people other than Aaron really, uh, Ben sometimes as well, but I'll probably just keep one mug on me, especially because I think going on at the moment. Uh, and, and yeah, it's a real, real nice piece of kit. Uh, I hope this little, it's not really a review, because I don't really, I don't really judge them, because, what's the point, um, but yeah, Tackle Showcase, real nice. If I was to rate it, I'd definitely say a four star product, I would like it to come with a little kettle, uh, especially for the price, 50 quid, even if it's just a small one litre one, I would like it to be able to have a little kettle in there, that would be nice, and then it's a proper brew kit then, and then you just buy a stove separate, but other than that, I, I think it's a real good bit of kit. Highly recommend it, uh, and I wish more companies did matching ones because I like to have everything matching because I'm a tackle tart. Um, I will look in. I will, am going fishing. Um, I'm just struggling with filming because of the COVID. I don't like being out. I will be honest with you. I don't like being out. The rivers are really busy, even though they're not meant to be. Um, with people walking their dogs. I, I went with Aaron the other day, and I did get a lot of stares, even though the Angling Trust said we can go fishing. Uh, I just don't feel comfortable at the moment fishing, but I will, as soon as I can get out, I will do, but a lot of the stuff, um, I'm borrowing the Mrs. Ring light, and I'll try and do some more videos indoors, like time rigs and stuff. But at the moment, I am trying to get out, but it's just being comfortable out, and that's what I'm trying to do, and obviously, health is playing a big part at the moment. I am fine, just like to say, I had all my tests done, I am absolutely fine, but it was just a scare, my Mrs. found me. And um, but I'm absolutely fine. Um, so if you do see videos with like bruises in and stuff like that, that's, that's why. Um, and I do like to milk sympathy from you lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you like the video. I will definitely get on the bank sometime, film some river fishing. Uh, I really want to get out there. There's some barbell out there I want to get, and there's some real nice park I want to get. 
Uh, I've got some mackerel, got some trout and stuff as well. So I will be getting out there. And I'm also doing stuff on the side, uh, which is a bigger personal thing, um, which I'm slowly growing and trying to get more stuff to do with that. Um, it's nothing to do with fishing, but it's just a personal thing for me, what I'm doing, um, based on start a business. And yeah, so I've got that on the side, along with the YouTube channel, stuff like that. So anyway, I'm longing out the video because I want more minutes on it. I'll catch you soon and I'll speak to you later.